Washington Post, since 2006, the United States has seen an alarming 47% increase in charter schools. For those who don't know, charter schools are schools that are publicly funded but independently run and are established with a charter that details the school's missions and methods. I'm here today to tell you that charter schools are negatively affecting the public school system. For a nation that proudly declares it will leave no child behind, with this growth of charter schools, America continues to leave children behind at an alarming rate. Firstly, charter schools force low enrollment in public schools by reducing the resources that are available to other schools within the district. Instead of taking the students from one single school and just affecting that school, charter schools attract students from all over the district, shooting blows at all public schools. Also, charter schools have become increasingly popular within urban areas because of the low funding and lack of materials that right, traditional public schools have. This is because parents who have the financial, need, the financial ability to move their children to these charter schools do so, leaving the highest need students at these public schools, which not only stunts diversity within the campuses of these schools, but forces these low income children down a path that they would otherwise be able to avoid. Charter schools allow people to avoid the problems within traditional public schools instead of facing the issues for what they are and fixing the core problem. Secondly, charter schools decrease funding for public schools. Since so many students are moving into charter schools, there are less students enrolled in traditional public schools, and therefore there is less per pupil funding for these traditional public schools. Um, this leaves these public schools with the short end of the stick because these public schools are forced with extra expenses that charters are not forced with. One example of this is that traditional public schools are required to provide all students within a district with transportation, whereas even to charter schools, students going to the charter schools, and charters are not required to pay for this. So even though public schools are getting less students, they still have to pay for things that charter schools do not. When people leave their cities and districts to go to charter schools, revenue within the area decreases. This, uh, this leads to program cuts. And according to, US New, to the website US News, in general, funds with two public schools have been cut more than 80, in more than 80% of school districts since the year 2008 with the first programs to go being important ones such as music, art, and foreign language. So instead of putting money towards building and funding new charters, these funds need to be focused on fixing traditional public schools first, who, as it is, have less funding. Thirdly, integrating charter schools into regular school districts will be unsuccessful. <coughs> charter school boards are appointed instead of elected like they are within traditional public schools. And because of this, there is more controversy since citizens are unable to get their voices heard by voting the, who they believe should be in the board onto the board. And because these parents don't have representation in the board, they will be unable to fight against unpopular decisions or unfair decisions. Um, one example of this, this is that a few years ago, a charter school called Oakland Academy had a popular principal fired. Parents were extremely angry, but were unable to do anything about this because they didn't have any representation within the board. Recently, however, the school board bought out the contract of their superintendent so that the school is no longer a charter, and voters were finally able to get their voices heard and were able to replace two of these board members and recall three more. So, lastly, or to end this, <laughs> Charter schools are negatively affecting the public school system because they are unable to effectively integrate them into the public school system. They decrease funding for public schools and they, and they reduce enrollment in public schools. We must no longer use charter schools as a way to run away from the problems in the current public school system and face the reality of what needs to be fixed. Thank you.
All right, the proposition's very clear, and in the body of the speech, you signpost your secondary points, but there's no preview of that material as we get started, and I think that that would help a little bit. Uh, there's controversy, I suppose, because uh, you're suggesting that there's a problem here, although I'm not exactly sure how widespread you know, uh, this issue is that people are suffering in some degree. You say there's been a 47% increase in charter schools over a period of time, and if there were next to none, and then there was a 47% increase, that means it's uh, almost next to none. So I think you need some more data on those particular points in order to make this argument uh, more effective. Uh, the one place where there was some data that I thought was applicable concerned the uh, decrease in student, excuse me, in um, school funding, and uh, you had some information on that, how there had been declines in that. However, the argument seems to presuppose that that is due to charter schools as opposed to other reasons, and the date that you cited is 2008, and there's probably other explanations there, so the response speaker should probably be looking at causality issues. We're going to talk about cause-effect reasoning um, you know, like I said, next week or after we get done with the midterm. So I guess sometime after next week. Uh, like I said, in the body of the speech, it's organized pretty clearly. Uh, you, you give your explanations of a lot of the arguments, but I'm not exactly sure that you always prove those arguments, especially on the first and second point where there is almost no evidence. The first point, there really wasn't any information that is specific. I didn't hear any sources being cited. I didn't hear any statistical information. Like I said, I did hear some information a little bit later on. Uh, you claim, for instance, on the transportation cost that that's required. That You've got a whole bunch of things that are supposed to be factual data, and I'm not getting any citation of those particular facts. The school board argument, I think, is a little bit confusing at the end. Uh, you do have an example here that you're talking about, um, but I'm not exactly sure that... You know, that's a, a problem with the school so much as it is the organization of the, uh, the charters. The, the notion that there are these problems, it may have been a case in that situation, but is that a typical case? What kinds of problems do the charter schools have? You've got one instance of a principal who is being removed, and I suppose that the parents didn't like that, but I didn't get a citation on it, I got your claim on it. I think if you had a direct quote on this from somebody who had, uh, was writing about it, that it would be a little bit clearer. And that's one of the problems, is that the information is just kind of abstract. It, it needs to be cited more specifically in the argument. All right, thank you.